Focus. I'm Lizzie Wynn, your host, and today we have a special guest, Dr. Andy Stein. She teaches here at Cal State Fullerton in uh, the Communications Department. Welcome, Andy. Hi, thank you very much. And so um, I know that you've done interviews before about your book. It's called Why We Love Disney. Mm -hmm. And then you also teach here at Cal State Fullerton. Let's talk about that a little bit. When did you start teaching here at Cal State Fullerton? I started teaching in August of 2000, so I'm finishing up my 13th year. Oh, how exciting. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. And uh, what classes do you teach? Uh, right now I run our graduate programs, so most of the classes that I teach are grad courses. I teach our intro class, I teach a class in communications management, and my favorite of all my grad classes is that I teach a graduate seminar called Deconstructing Disney. Oh wow, Deconstructing Disney. Is that similar to what you wrote about in your book or is it um, a totally different? It is. Actually, the book was written to go with the course to talk about some of the different topics that I cover in the class. Okay, great. And how does that, um, what's the structure of that class like? What's it, um, how, do, how do people get involved in that? Well, uh, the class looks at the history of the Disney Company and its growth and development over the years and the influence that the company has had on society's consumption of entertainment. So each week we talk about a different topic that Disney is involved in that relates to the entertainment industry. How did your journey with this book begin? Like, what excites you about the Disney brand? Enough to write about it. Um, I've always been fascinated by how big the Disney company is and how much influence it does have on, on entertainment and society because everywhere you look, every time you turn your head, there's mm -hmm. Disney. And so the book came about, as I said, because I was teaching this class already and I had written another book for one of our entertainment studies classes and the editor of that book had said to me, I, I know you teach a Disney class, would you be interested in writing a book to go with the class? And I was very excited because I love Disney and I love talking about it and I love to write. So I started doing research on the company and on Walt Disney and talked to a lot of people. I was really curious to find out why do people love Disney and got to do some primary research. I went to uh, several international Disney parks. I went on a Disney cruise. I had a very good time doing the research for this book. And then I was able to bring all these concepts together and write about them in a way that corresponded to what my class was all about. Why do you think people love Disney? Is it, what do you think is so magical about the Disney brand? I think it makes us feel good. You know, there are always happy endings with Disney movies and you go to Disneyland and your biggest worry for the day is how long am I going to have to stand in line to get on my favorite ride? You know, people walk into a Disney park and, and all their troubles magically disappear. And I think that's one of the reasons people love Disney so much is because it just makes them happy. <laughs> is that your personal experience with Disney? Every time you go into the theme park, you just Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, I want to get on Peter Pan's flight. How long will it take me? So, so yeah, I think it, uh, it's just a good experience all the way around. Oh, okay. And um, what is your personal business philosophy and mantra when creating a successful brand? I think if you want to create a successful brand, you have to be passionate about your product or your service. And you have to be able to develop a message that you can communicate consistently so that people understand what it is that you're trying to provide to them. And so make sure that your message is clear, make sure it's concise, and make sure that everybody knows what it is. Um, where did you pick up those things from? Do you think that it's from when you were growing up or just getting involved in the Disney brand? Uh, I've, st I've taken a lot of management courses in my time and in both my master's and my PhD program. I took a lot of business classes and, and I've always been interested in how organizations work. And I think from studying organizations that, that was one of the things that helped me have a, an understanding of, of the whole branding process. That's really great. Do you think that um, some of these philosophies and uh, your personal mantra are some of the things that you try to um, incorporate in your classes as well as in your book? I think so. I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do and I think that comes across to my students and, and I really believe as I said that passion is a big part of making something successful. What do you want your readers to get out of this book? Is it part of the passion? I want them to have an appreciation for how impressive the Disney brand is. Whether you like Disney or hate Disney, there's no denying that Disney has really had a tremendous influence on our lives and I think from reading the book readers will get a sense of how great that influence is and the different sectors of the entertainment industry that Disney has a hand in. 
And so I'm hoping that people will come away from the book saying, well, even if I didn't like Disney when I started, I understand why other people do. Where do you see the future of Disney going? I think that the company will continue to maintain its focus on family-friendly entertainment, but I believe that the organization will also continue to expand in new directions. We've just seen the purchase of Lucasfilms and Marvel Entertainment a few years ago, and I think that the Disney company is still trying to chart new territory and explore new avenues of entertainment for people to enjoy. So is there anything else you want readers and uh, fans and students to know about Disney? Or just about your book or anything in general? Uh, I just think that it's, as I said before, it's an interesting company to study. Uh, there are lots of nuances to it. I think there's something for everyone in trying to understand the brand. And I hope that readers take away a greater appreciation for Walt Disney and for the organization that he founded. OK. Thank you so much, Andy. Oh, I hope that um, the students and the viewers get something out of this as well. All right. Thank you for watching In Focus. Our guest today was Andy Stein. I'm your host, Lizzie Wynn.